Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I will be doing a DIY project on this vase. I found this vase at the Goodwill for $2.99 and I thought the shape of it was nice. So I thought, why not make it into something more beautiful? So I'm going to get started by laying out my surface here. I took a 13 gallon trash bag and just laid it on the counter and um, this is going to help from getting the joint compound that I purchased from the hardware store all over the countertops <laughs> so I'm trying to work as neat as possible even though this particular joint compound is very messy so I need to get this price tag off first so I'm going to get this scraped off with this razor blade, wipe my vase down, and then we're going to get started. So now I'm going to be getting started. So these are my makeshift tools that I'll be using. <laughs> a plastic fork, I mean a plastic spoon and a knife. And then this is my spackling compound. Now this particular compound is the one that already comes white and just takes a little bit longer to dry. The other one that you may have seen before is the one that turns pink and then no it comes pink or like a purple fuchsia color and then once it's completely dry it then turns white that one was a little bit more expensive than the one that I purchased let's just say I was trying to go the cheaper route and save money by getting the cheaper one because I'm like okay this project I'm trying to make it as less expensive as possible it's something that I decided at the last minute to just try out and the other one was going to be like ten dollars more than this particular bucket so the representative at the Ace Hardware told me that the only difference in this one and that one is the color change and then this one takes just a little bit longer to dry so I was like hey I'm in no rush for this project so let's go with the less expensive route so that's what I did and of course it did um, take a little bit longer to dry but it was okay it still you know did what it needed to be done so I got an idea that I seen online and I originally started off with like this pattern that I thought I wanted to do but then I quickly realized that that was not working so I decided to just do like a rough application and um, that ended up turning out much better for me so probably if my compound was thicker I could do the design that I started off doing so you'll see what I'm talking about here once I get started sometimes it really feels like I lose control honestly I can't even find my hole cause when you see result of my product I did one coat and I have not sanded or added any color I just wanted to pop in and show you what it looked like 
have it for you imperfections but I think that's the beauty of it so I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna add another layer of texture or what color I want to leave it or if I'm gonna leave it this color or I'm gonna add a little rustic or will I do it black so haven't decided yet the next time you see it it'll be styled somewhere in my home I'm in here I'm about to get ready to leave out the house headed to an appointment and I needed to fix my water before I go plan for the day for the week is to get back on my water intake I have not been drinking my water like I need to and for me I can tell it my body lets me know So, I'm going to take this with me. I'll probably put some more ice in here. This bottle I got for like $2 at Target this summer. So, it's going to be my water bottle today. But I have to go to an appointment. And I um, also have to do some things to get prepared for work this week. So, I need to pick up a few items for work. Decided to pull my hair back in a ponytail today because I didn't really want it to be on my neck or slanging everywhere. <laughs> so, um, I'm about to head out. I don't know how long I'll be out today. Hopefully not that long. I don't want to be out that long. It is 8 o'clock right now so i gotta be at my appointment in 30 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and head out and i'll just pick y'all back up after my appointment okay Okay guys, so today wasn't my typical nail appointment. My nail tech is actually setting up to do some video footage. She's doing a few reels and a couple short video clips. And um, I know you've seen the title, so I had some exciting news to share. So she's doing this video footage because she is going to be promoting my HD Essentials Exfoliating Body Scrubs. She has been sampling and using it for a couple of weeks now. And I'm excited to announce that she is going to be exclusively using and selling it inside of her salon. So this is what we're working on. She is um, going to be doing a video with her applying it on my hands and cuticles after my nail service. Now she actually does this for each client. 
and now she says she has the option to let them choose their scent that they'd like to to use so it is super super exciting i'm so happy that um she will be my first business partner as far as carrying my products in her salon so this is a really big deal and it is so so monumental for hd essentials so you can imagine how i feel i was so happy to the point where i was like uh let me go leave here and get started on making some more batches of scrub that way she can have a good um inventory and be stocked up for when her clients come in and i even um was there when she sold to her first guest so that just made me so so happy i was just overjoyed the thought of creating this product and knowing you know that it is beneficial and that other people will love it as much as I do. So yeah, that is my exciting news. So definitely um, happy about that. And I got to get started on making these products. So the next vlog you see will probably be me in the studio creating more scrubs. So I actually immediately had to go order some more stuff and um get prepared because as well as selling in my salon online and then now into this salon and then i found out actually i have two other potential partners that want to partner up with hd essential so yeah definitely excited and happy so i wanted to share that news with you all because we were actually in the moment of doing the behind the scenes footage of the videos and the clips that she was getting for her social media site and um i'll have to tag her social media site in the link below or in the description box that way if you're in the area and you wanted to use my nail tech you can that's if you can get in because she's super busy <laughs> but um yeah guys that is my good news so i'd like to say thank you to everyone who has supported HD Essentials thus far. It doesn't go unnoticed. I appreciate you so, so much because I did not get on YouTube to sell anything to you all. I started YouTube as a hobby, as something that I wanted to do uh, with me and Mr. Allen. And in that process, I started my product line and just shared with you all because that's a part of my life so you all don't have to support me but i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you thank you
she's not here to play, she'll get moody. But don't mistake this girl for being me. Cause these are dream rules. This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no. Mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules. This is someone else, I'm not myself. Problems disappear. She could tell you the things you wanna hear. She could read your mind and that she could believe of a little lies to tell yourself a lie. Never get it wrong, it's always right. Making the play, being the play. She is on a roll. She is on a roll. Never seen it like this. Didn't think it existed. No truth. She's not here to play, she'll get 